pools page gives you one single page where you can see how your accept, reject, and stale rates look globally across all of your miners. The dashboard block that we referenced earlier shows you for the entire mine. The pools page decomposes it down into each pool that you're using. The pools that I'm showing right now are as configured. So the miners on this account are configured to use these pools. I can see we have 4,737 miners active on Foundry, 1,720 miners active on F2 pool, and 429 miners active on AMP pool. At a very high level, it looks like this mine's running pretty well. A lot of green bars. Green bars implies you're getting paid. Orange and red are what you want to avoid. Generally, you want to be less than half a percent reject and stale shares. So this site looks like less than half a percent of rejected, less than half a percent of stale. All of these pools generally look to be performing well for us. The graphs are interactive, so I can disable different data sets so I can see where the problems are. I'll turn off accepted on this one. Now I can see my rejects and stales emerge. So now I can kind of dive deep and see maybe, maybe I want to see where all of my stales and rejects are going. To show how it might look if there was a pool outage, we'll turn the accepteds back on. Now we're looking at a bunch of stales and rejects for AMP pool. So maybe there's a pool outage that we need to address. I can click the filter icon, which will apply a dashboard filter. Then I'll go to the miners page. So now I'm looking at the 429 miners that are on AMP pool. I can click bulk edit, check all the miners, hit edit. And now I can perform a mass pool change. So migrate all of those miners off of AMP pool to a different pool.